Hey trainers, what's up? Brian here. Welcome to another episode of Go Geek Go. Our just starting our day. We're about to head out. It's actually a Hey, what's up trainers? Welcome to another episode of Go Geek Go. As always, I'm your host Brian. We're about to start our day out by heading out to a reservation in uh, Middleburg Heights. Um, I can't remember exactly what it's called right now, but I'll let you know when we get over there. And uh, basically, it's just a nice, nice long walkway over some uh, wetlands. So it's kind of a cool place to go and um, collect some Pokemon eggs for this new Gen 2 event. And hopefully it will get us at least one or two Togepies, some Pichus and stuff. We already have a whole slew of eggs that are in incubation, ready to hatch. So those will hatch pretty soon here, probably shortly after we get there. And uh, collect another batch or so and be heading on our way to other things today. So yeah, you guys, thanks for coming along. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. We'll see you guys at the park. arrive over here at uh, James Abram Park is what it's called. It's a pretty cool place. So we're gonna go on. Katrina's already winding her butt off. She is ready to go. So let's get this going and get on the road. So terrible, terrible white balance here. Come here. Come here, you. Come here. Stay. Sit. 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 Hey. Sit. So we're headed down the trail now. It took us a little bit of time, but we're on our way. Going backwards right now because the sun is actually facing the terrible, terrible direction for shots here right now. But uh, that's okay. As you can see, it's pretty much this nice straight trail all the way down, which is cool. It'll be good for egg hatching. Dinosaur exhibit, dinosaur bone exhibit, it's like a woolly mammoth here. And uh, we actually got a Santa Pikachu that popped up, so we're gonna go ahead, click that there, and then uh, we'll go ahead and catch that. Real quick, 243, not too bad. Not too great, but not too bad. Actually, that's pretty bad, let's not lie. 243 is a pretty low CP. And it ran at us. So, guess there's no luck on that one, we won't be catching that, but. You have this Lake Abram Martian Boardwalk Pokestop right here, which is actually not over here. Um, I think this is the Poke. No, this Pokestop's a bench. Really, these Pokestops are a little bit off of location. As I found, they all have been lately. Many, many Pokestops are in the wrong locations, but hey, you know, still spin them. So let's head on down the road. Oh, it's more now. Bag is full. Uh, so everything's going wrong here, guys. My bag just uh, is full already. Which is okay, we got some things we could uh, erase here, but overall, not too much. There is an uh, instinct gym right here. We're gonna leave it alone for now and head on to the other side. And uh, maybe we'll take the gyms over there. There's like two gyms that way. So try and take those two gyms and then maybe hit this one on our way back. I have not actually had my Pokemon Go Plus sets to catch nearby Pokemon in quite a long time. It's because it eats through Pokeball so fast for me that uh, it's not really worth it. But hey, we're gonna do it right now because there's lots of stuff, and lots of stuff to catch. We're gonna catch it all. So these eggs should be hatching here any moment. So let's check those, 4.7. So yeah, we'll get back to you guys once these eggs hatch. See you then. Hey trainers, what's up? So we're over here about halfway through the park. Um, we've seen quite a few Pokemon, nothing really good, but compared to the last time we've been here when there was pretty much nothing, we went through the whole park and caught about zero of anything. So 
this time around, definitely a lot more Pokemon to catch, so that's cool. Um, Pokestops have been alright, haven't really gotten anything too amazing, but we are still waiting on all those eggs to hatch. Apparently my Pogo Plus has dis dis disconnected from the device, which never happens actually, so that used to happen constantly and they literally just changed it in this last update so it never does it anymore because it doesn't disconnect due to the lack of an internet connection anymore is what's going on from what I noticed. If you have no internet connection, I know this because one of the reasons why I didn't get out of video the last day or so is because my phone was out of service and I didn't have a phone to play. So I noticed though that without the internet connection, I still stay connected to my Go Plus as long as the phone was in range. So they definitely changed that, which makes disconnecting happen a whole lot less. And that is great. So that's really cool about the Pokemon Go Plus, something that they've fixed recently. So, okay, cool, cool. Uh, Evie just spawned here from our incense. Go ahead and catch that real quick and then we'll be on our way. Good throw, great throw. Good throw, Psh, great throw. There you go, one. One throw and we got her. It's always awesome. Let's see what we got here. 767 Eevee candies. You guys saw that, right? I have a lot of them. You could just go ahead and get transferred. All right, guys, so uh, we're gonna head on down the road. We're here, found a little spot to post up over here in the woods and we're gonna hatch these eggs for you. Start them. I think we have 